Hello and welcome back. This is just going to be a quick video all about the Stargazer nail polishes that I picked up at the Emats convention thing. So I've got this colour wheel. You may have seen this already with the Barry M. I just thought I'd add these on because there were spare slots and I don't like to waste these things. Anyway, I'm going to start. This first colour is 102 and it is this neon yellow. And this is one hell of a neon like really is probably not doing it justice there it's in person it would remind me of you know the safety jackets that you get um you know, the big luminous things that you get it's that kind of yellow it's just fabulous this is such a fantastic summer color if you have a lovely tan this would be epic um these retail i seen them on the website for 250 which is a complete and utter bargain for these i've done two coats just so we know from the start this applies really, really well. It's not streaky, goes on like an utter dream. I really have fallen for these Stargazer polishes. Um, as I said, this uh, 250, I believe, and I'll link their website down below so you can have a look. Yeah, really beautiful, beautiful color. It looks dodgy in the bottle. I don't know if you can see that. It almost looks in the bottle as if it has separated, but it hasn't. It just looks funny in the bottle. I don't know if you can see that. Just give it a good shake. It's fine. The next colour I have for you. This is 135. And you kind of want to do two thick coats with this. I've just done the two bog standard sort of semi thin. If you wanted to get it darker again. You just do another coat over the top. Um, and it you know will darken up a bit. This is beautiful. It's got sort of duochrome to it almost it is quite metallic you can see there it's metallic when it goes on and in person it's got a green but a goldy kind of sheen to it with blueiness to it as well it's a stunning color really really like this color we'll definitely be wearing this it will go into winter you know autumn winter absolutely fine and this next one is my favorite from the three it's 314 and it's just a fantastic colour. This is not going to do it any kind of justice. It's just beautiful on the nails. It's I'm tilting it every which way so in the hope that you can see it. It's orange but it's got gold glitter in it and it's got silveryness to it and bluey kind of glitter bits in it and all kinds of every sort of glittery bit in it. But really really very fine. Get this to focus again. Come on camera. There we go. And it just, on your nails, it looks like you've got a mini galaxy on your nails. You can see there, look at the shine and everything off that and the glitter. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. No camera will pick this up properly at all. I've tried taking multiple pictures of it just to try and get the colour. And it still doesn't translate as well as it is in person. Or as it looks in person. This, again, this is two coats. You could go that bit further and get a richer colour with three coats easily. Very easy to apply, goes on really well, isn't streaky on application. I just love that colour. I'm just going to sit and wave this at you for the next week while. Really, really, really enjoy these polishes. We'll definitely be looking at more of them. Uh, with the brushes with these, they are just your bog standard, you know, thin brush, which is fine. Um, as I said, really easy to apply, retail for about 250 and you get a decent amount for that. Let me see mill for that. It says produced in Croydon, so it's gonna be local enough. I just I just have never seen them in any kind of shop. I have some other products that I'm gonna try out from Stargazer and I'll let you know how I get on with those. I've got some glitters. I've tested some of the eyeshadows and I'm enjoying those, so expect a review on that soon. Um yeah, i I'm really pleased I discovered bits of of Stargazer. So I would recommend checking them out yourself. I'm not sure if you can buy them in any kind of shop. I know there is a website, but I've never seen them in any shops. So if you've seen them in a shop or a store or whatever, let me know, because I would love to go in and swatch more things because they're just very, very good. So if you want to see what's on my face, stay tuned. If not, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video on my face. So started with the Smashbox Photo Ready Primer. I'm getting already with that. I've dug out my Bare Minerals Original Foundation and this is in Golden Fair. Been really liking this. It suits my colour tone a bit better, my face colour a bit better at the minute. For underneath my eyes, I've used my Well Rested from Bare Minerals. 
for my eyes themselves, I've started with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And then for my eyes, I've taken from Urban Decay, this is Shattered. I have taken that all over my lid. It's just a beautiful colour. I'll zoom you in in a minute to see. All over my lid and then just underneath a wee bit. And then from the Dangerous palette, I've taken Mushroom. I'm sure you can buy that as an individual shadow as well. And again, taken that underneath. And in the my tear duct area, I've used Sundress from Bare Minerals. This is a loose pigment and it's beautiful. It's kind of uh, another two-tone kind of thing. You put it in and it looks yellow, but it's got balloonness and greenness to it. I'll just zoom you in so you can see my eyes. So yeah, that's my eyes. For mascara, I've used my Bare... Uh, Benefit they're real still not liking this. I think I'm gonna to have to give up on it I keep retrying and I keep disliking it. It's still really really wet So maybe I need to bury it for another month and dig it out. I don't know. We'll see For my eyebrows, I've used my Maybelline Brow shape pencil and this is in dark blonde On my cheeks I've used my sweet cheeks blushers and I've used cupcake, which is the cream blush and candy floss which is this lovely coral blush use it over the top and blend them both together i have set that in place with my bare minerals translucent powder from the ready set and then i went over my cheeks and my forehead with my hourglass ambient lighting powder in ethra light on my lips i have shocking coral from maybelline color sensational which is this fantastic neon color rain uh, color and then I sprayed my face with my Urban Decay setting spray just to set that all in place. So that's everything. Thanks for watching guys. See you in my next video. Bye.